Your limiting beliefs are hurting you as a man. You may think, what's the big deal? That's only hurting me, right? Well, it is hurting you and it's causing a lot of problems in your life. You see, the good news is you don't have to be stuck with your limiting beliefs. We're gonna give you three tips to help you overcome your limiting beliefs today. Hey guys, I'm David Maxwell, men's coach. You know, in high school, I was a lineman, except for one game. You see, our team, we lost a lot. And so for that one game, coaches said, we're going to try you at tight end. And I thought, tight end? Man, that's great. I might could catch a touchdown pass. So I was pumped and I was scared. And so they put me at tight end and there was this one game, the one game I played in as a tight end. Um... I was to go and catch the touchdown pass. The quarterback threw it. My friend Darren threw it to me, came right to my hand. It was a perfect pass, and it went right through my hands, bounced off my helmet, and hit the ground. Yeah, I blew it. But why did I blow it? Well, I blew it because I didn't really believe I could do it. I was scared. I was nervous, and I was worried. What if I drop it? What if I drop it? What if I drop it? And guess what? I dropped it. And you see, that happens to a lot of us as men today. We have limiting beliefs that keep us from really being all that we could be as men. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what we need to do. And I'm going to give you three tips to help you overcome your limiting beliefs. Now, the first thing we want to do is acknowledge our limiting beliefs. See, you've got to recognize them or you'll never overcome them. You see, when I was in high school, I didn't realize that that's what I had, that I had limiting beliefs, that I was hurting myself. So what we have to do as men is we have to find the ability to get outside of our own minds. We have to be able to kind of look at ourselves in the third person. And what we need to do is try to develop that third person attitude because that's the only way we're going to see what we're doing because most of the time we're inside our own minds and when you're inside your own mind it's hard to develop that third person perspective because you know what's going on inside of you and you usually accept it but what you want to do is try to look from the outside of yourselves like you're like you're reading a novel about yourself and and what we want to do is find out why am i thinking this why are these thoughts going through my head a lot of times as men, we're so busy doing and working and being that we never take the time to ask ourselves, why am I thinking that? So what you want to do as a man, the first thing you have to do is try to get outside of yourself and develop that third person perspective so you can see what's going on in your life. All right, the second thing you want to do is identify specific limiting beliefs. What you want to do is find out what are the ones that are hurting you. And I suggest that you take time to write down the limiting beliefs that you think are there. Just take some time, get away from everything, and just sit there and think of yourself in that third person and write down everything that comes to your mind. Just write it out. Don't worry about, is it right, is it wrong? Just write it. Then go back later and look at everything you wrote and start looking for patterns. What you want to do is look for those things that are happening over and over, the words that you kept saying, maybe different words, but they mean the same thing. Now, a lot of guys don't do this because they say, well, what if I guess wrong? What if I say things that are wrong? And, and I think, oh, this is my limiting belief, but it's really not. Well, you can change it. You see, the key to overcoming limiting beliefs is to just start. You just want to start and start trying to analyze and look at those things that are hurting you. Because when you start, what you're doing is you're beginning the process. And the process is where you find the truth. And what happens to a lot of men is they never start the process. They never get going. They're busy doing other things or they, they kind of ignore it. They say, well, I'm too busy. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And what they're really doing is they're ignoring the limiting beliefs that are hurting them. And this is something that you can even get feedback from trusted people. People who know you, who love you, who believe in you, go to them and say, hey, I've been thinking about this being a limiting belief. 
What do you think? And I think they'll give you insight that'll help you be a better man. All right, the third thing we have to do is replace limiting beliefs. You see, just because you recognize them doesn't mean they're going to go away by themselves. Michael Hyatt has a quote, and he talks about replacing limiting beliefs with liberating truths. And I think that's a great line because that's really what you have to do. You have to replace those limiting beliefs that you have, and you want to replace them with a liberating truth. You want to kind of beat that limiting belief down with the truth. Now, it is a fight. Because a lot of times you're dealing with thoughts and things that you've had in your mind for a long time, but I promise you it's worth it. Now, some guys will say, well, you know, my limiting belief, it only affects me, so it's no big deal, so I'm just going to ignore it. Well, it is true. It does affect you, but it affects everybody in your life also. That limiting belief is keeping you from living to your fullest potential being the man that you could be. And when you're living to your fullest potential, you have a much more positive effect on everybody. But when you're not, you have a negative effect on everybody. You see, how you live affects those you love. You may have a wife and children, the coworkers, all those relationships that you have. Your limiting belief actually hurts all of them because you're not being the man you could be. You're not fully living who you are as a man. So what you want to do is start replacing your limiting beliefs with liberating truths. Find a way to beat them back. And I believe it's going to make you a much better man. I want to help you be a better man. That's why I created davidthemaxwell.com. It's a website with all kinds of things to help you grow as a more confident man in the way you live. And there's a specific coaching page that has resources to help you. So check it out, davidthemaxwell.com backslash coaching. Now, recently I was at a class reunion and my dropped pass was brought up. The guy who threw the ball to me said, if you had just caught the pass. And you know, it's true. But I didn't catch the pass. See, my limiting beliefs hurt me and actually hurt the team. But you know, today, I don't care. Why? Because I recognize that that's an old belief. It was an old me, that old attitude of I can't or I'm scared and all those things. That was an old belief that, you know, I don't have it anymore. Do I still struggle with limiting beliefs? We all do. We're all going to have those battles in our lives. But you know what? That's an old one. And it doesn't matter to me anymore. You can overcome your limiting beliefs. I know you can. So start today being the man you were designed to be.